What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome into the video and today a brand new shiny Pokemon has been released in Pokemon Go and we are going to be raiding that legendary Pokemon until we get it shiny and if we don't get it before the 10th raid I'll transfer a hundo I'm calling it right now I'm gonna get it in under 10 raids and if that doesn't happen I will transfer one of my 30 100% IV Pokemon let's get into the raiding all right ladies and gentlemen we're actually hopping into our very first Tapu Koko raid and as I said earlier Tapu Koko can officially be shiny now and to be honest this is such an amazing shiny i had no idea all the tapus had such good shinies to them i am so happy that they are finally available and it looks like my game is a little bit broken at the moment um try switching maybe i don't know what's happening but i guess it has to do something with the one of the most recent updates because i did hear something about there being potentially like visual bugs and stuff like that in the game so i mean i guess we're just gonna keep on going because i mean it's saying torterra you used earthquake but obviously it's not torterra out there right now it's still showing gengar up in the top left fantastic game niantic fantastic game but also like i said at the beginning of the video if i don't get a shiny in the first 10 attempts i'll transfer one of my hundos that is how confident i am in my luck today also for the 100 tapu coco going to be looking for cp 1810 non-weather boosted and cp 2263 weather boosted so those are going to be the cps we're looking for first raid goes down and we're going to see See if we can end this video here after just one single raid. 15 balls, shiny. 1782. This one's actually not going to be half bad, but not the hundo, not the shiny. We're going to keep on looking. All right, so immediately hopping back into our second raid, and sadly, the last one that we had, the 1778, I believe, was the CP, uh, it ran away. So that kind of sucks, but I mean, it wasn't a shiny, wasn't a hundo, so not really too upset about it, to be honest. The so Tapu Koko is going to be a dual electric and fairy type, so its main weaknesses are going to be ground and poison type, so some of your best Pokemon to try and take Tapu Koko down is going to be Pokemon such as Mega Gengar, Nialigo, Excadrill, Landorus, Mamoswine, Rhyperior, and that's just to name a few of them. That's like the ideal Pokemon you want to use for it, but any poison or ground type will do the job for you because Tapu Koko is not a very strong Pokemon by any means. As far as Tapu Koko's usefulness, it's not a very useful Pokemon whatsoever. It's currently ranked 347th in the Ultra League, and it is only ranked 123rd in the master league and as far as pve goes it's not going to be a very useful pokemon so the only reason to have this pokemon is really for shiny hunting really it's not like a mewtwo or something like that or like a very like meta relevant legendary pokemon so this one's only good for its shiny really and that's exactly what we're going to be going for today we're about to be done with our second raid here we're going to be done with our second raid and get our very first shiny type of coco right here i'm calling it now i'm gonna be honest guys i think i might have just got the hundo please Please be shiny. I'm pretty sure I just got the weather boosted hundo. I might have just get it, did it. 15 balls, not shiny, but 2236. I actually just got a weather boosted hundo. If I don't catch this thing, I'm gonna lose my absolute mind right now. Give me a minute, guys. My heart. I, <laughs> I wasn't feeling too confident about this catch, but 2236 Tapuk. I'm dyslexic. The hundo's 2263, not 2236. I think this just proves that I think I'm dyslexic, guys. We're just gonna go into the next raid. All right, officially on to raid three. I am just so distraught right now and just so flabbergasted, if you will. There is no way I did that. My level of disappointment when I checked the IVs and saw that it wasn't a perfect. I'm just heartbroken at this point. But either way, we're only two raids in, still no shiny still no hundo still got at least eight more tries before we transfer a hundo i really hope i don't have to transfer a hundo because i've only gotten 30 of them i don't want to have to lose one and i've already said i'm going to so i kind of have to hold up to my end of the bargain there so if you are actually going to be trying to raid tapu coco as well it will be leaving raids on february 1st and it will be being replaced by reggie steel i believe yes it will actually be being replaced by reggie steel which we will probably be doing another one of these types of videos for reggie steel maybe not transferring a hundo in that one if i have to transfer a hundo in this one but we'll see what happens I'm 
I'm not anticipating having to transfer shiny because out of the last like four videos I've done this for, I think I've gotten it all in less than 10, except for one, I believe. I'm not too sure though. And Tapu Coco number three goes down. Not gonna look at the CP this time. I'm pretty sure I actually just saw it and I'm a little bit upset. Don't think it's good. I really hope this one isn't the shiny like it did to me with Zekrom and gave me a terrible shiny one. 15 balls, shiny. Okay, it's not the shiny 1760, not good. On to raid number four. All right, ladies and gentlemen, raid number four is on its way and we're almost done here. Also, I just want to apologize if you've made it this far into the video that I haven't been posting a whole lot of like actual like daily Pokemon Go content and whatnot, like I used to at least. It's just been really hard, especially with the weather. It's not Pokemon Go weather anymore. It's winter. It's kind of getting uh, really cold where I'm at. And plus, since I have moved recently, there's not a park that's really near my house that I can really just go to within five minutes you know and just film a video so it does make it a little bit harder to go out and do that stuff but hopefully whenever spring does roll around in the next two months or so maybe even three months hopefully we'll get back into making more videos and stuff like that other than just events that is rate number four goes down this one's gonna be the worst of them all it's gonna be my shiny <laughs> Okay, it's not gonna be. Cool. Moving on to raid number five. All right, so we are officially about to knock out Tapu Koko at number five. And if this isn't shiny, I'm not feeling too confident about this challenge anymore because it's just not looking good for me. <laughs> We're about to be halfway through with the challenge. I don't want to get rid of a hundo. Granted, it's still under odds because it's a one in 20 chance. 14 balls, shiny. <laughs> God, 70, 39. This one is buns apple coco number six goes down we now have four more potential attempts for the shiny tapu coco unless this one is shiny right now and then we end the video maybe it would be kind of epic if i did get the shiny right now and i didn't have to do any more of these raids for this garbage pokemon please <laughs> 2185 weather boosted gonna be some more hot garbage on to number seven all right officially finished tapu coco number seven still not feeling confident about this challenge anymore each raid destroys my confidence just that much more but hey at least we're getting good xp and some candies for him please be shiny 1744 not gonna be good either we have three more tapu coco number eight finally going down i pray that this is the shiny because my phone is on 11 percent and i don't want to have to stop and charge my phone while doing this recording because i have it plugged in to video capture software so i can't charge it and do this at the same time so please let this be a shiny Tapu Koko Y, 2203. On to the last two. All right, so we're on Tapu Koko number nine. And I swear to y'all, if I have to transfer a 100% IV on this, this video better at least get 100 views. At least. Like, come on. But Tapu Koko number nine goes down. Let's hope that this is the hundo because we only have one more attempt after this. And if it makes it to the 10th raid, we all know it's not gonna happen. We all know that. Tapu Koko number nine 17 balls shiny this thing hates me i'm we have one more before we transfer a hundo tapu coco number 10 this is not a shiny then y'all know what that means we have to transfer a 100 percent iv pokemon and i'm gonna be honest i ain't ready to say goodbye to a hundo but tapu coco Number 10 goes down finally. CP 2227. Not gonna be the hundo, but that's okay because it's going to shine right now. Give me the shiny now. This is officially my least favorite Pokemon in history. Officially. Y'all know what that means. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here is my list of all my 100% IV Pokemon that I have. And I'm gonna be real with you guys. I'm transferring this as a rule. Because I didn't specify that it'd be random. I just specified it had to be a hundo. So it's gonna be this 100% IV as a rule. Say goodbye to the 100% IV as a rule, everybody. May he rest in pepperonis. So yeah, that's gonna do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to drop a like for my suffering there, as that is just heartbreaking. First time I've ever had to transfer a hundo. Kinda sucks. If you made it this far in the video, be sure to subscribe as well. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.